Okay, so here we've got a marking gauge and a combination marking Moore's gauge. The reason this one's a combination is because it has one spur on this side, which is for the marking gauge, and two spurs on this side, which is the mortise gauge for marking out the tenon joints in a mortise and tenon joint. But otherwise, essentially, does the same function as a marking gauge. So the marking gauge has a sliding stock that you can set to any distance you like. So I'm going to set mine to, let's say, 20 mil. So I'll line that up with my ruler, tighten that up a bit. Just check it again in case it moved when you tightened it. It's all right. So now I can take the marking gauge and scribe a line along my timber. And then just for a bit of clarity, you can grab a pen or a pencil and darken that line in so you can see it.